Many sports radio shows spent time Tuesday discussing Chloe Kim's remarkable gold medal winning performance at the Women's Hay Pipe Monday night. Barstool Sports, on the other hand, spent time ogling the 17-year-old Olympian and referring to the teenager as a little hot piece of a. Patrick Honor, co-host of Barstool's new Sirius XM talk show, dialed in with Dallas Braden, made the inappropriate and disgusting comment while discussing the underage Kim's appearance with former MLB pitcher Dallas Braden and fellow co-host Brody Stevens. Audio of the exchange was captured by Dead Spin. Following a comment made by Stevens, in which he compares Kim to Khloe Kardashian, Connor compares himself to Matthew McConaughey's character in Dazed and Confused, no doubt, and in fact just to keep it on that tip, her 18th birthday is April 23rd, and the countdown is on baby, Connor said. Cause I got my Wooderson going. That's what I like about them high school girls. David Ramos, Getty Images, Stevens agrees with Connor's assessment, leading to Connor to continue with his tasteless rant. She's fine as hell. If she was 18, you wouldn't be ashamed to say that she's a little hot piece of a. And she is, she is adorable. I'm a huge Chloe Kim fan, Connor said. Braden, himself, didn't weigh in on the discussion, choosing to rather sit back and laugh while his fellow co-hosts went back and forth. Connor, who is both a father and a husband according to his Twitter bio, later addressed the backlash he has received for his inappropriate remarks by lashing out at Deadspin rather than apologize for his comments. Deadspin still exists, Connor posted. Dave Portnoy, president of Barstool Sports, wrote a blog post in response to Deadspin's original story. Portnoy called Connor's remark, sort of a stupid comment but spent most of his post attacking the Deadspin author, Laura Wagner, who wrote the original story on the tasteless exchange. She's just so potty-mouthed and so vile and so vindictive, Portnoy wrote. She's just so obsessed with hating Barstool I can't get enough, yeah it was sort of a stupid comment but to dedicate an entire blog to it, it's so diabolical I can't help but love her for it, Connor's inappropriate remarks came on the same day Ali Raisman posted news with words of empowerment painted on her body like, survivor, and, abuse is never okay.